Welcome back to the channel. So I've got a uh, watch in for review. I got this from Aaron over at the OFD channel. Um, this is the Seiko Digi Tuna, part number SBEP001. Okay, this is instruction manual, Seiko stuff. You guys have seen all that. Let's um, open up the box. Let's see here. There we go. Oh yeah, look at this tuna. This is a beast of a watch right here. Um, so anyway, let me see. I always like to make sure the glass is clear. Um, so what we have here is a completely uh, digital watch, okay, which I like. Um, I'm an automatic guy. I love automatic watches, but I've been getting a little more into some digital watches lately. And uh, this one is very cool. Pretty much ticks all the boxes. What's nice about it is it does everything, you know, chronograph, dive watch, um, you know, alarms, it does it all, 200 meter water resistance. So uh, as of, you know, 2020, uh, this has got all the technology, everything that you would need uh, in a uh, tactical setting or, you know, you know, whatever. I mean, this does it all, okay? So um, this is, makes all your automatic watches, everything else um, inferior, to be honest, it really does. Um, but um, let's get the dimensions out of the way. It's a 49 millimeter case and it's round. So it's 49 all around, okay? Uh, thickness, 14.3 millimeters thick. Giant, huge round pushers. So very easy to use and operate. I like that. This one even has some uh, some checkering on it. So it's easier to, to actuate there. And I believe that's the main button. That's your main mode button. 22 millimeter lug opening, okay? Um, uh, well, actually not a screwed on case back. This has got a screwed in case back and it's completely plastic here as well. So it seems like, I'm not sure exactly, I didn't research. I know part of it is metal, but it's very light. So I, I believe the majority of this watch is going to be um, uh, made out of uh, a polymer. Okay, so it just feels really, yeah, even the case, it feels really light, very well made though, very well constructed. Um, it has a, um, uh, okay, let's get to the mode real quick. Of course, you got the time there. You got the day and date. So Sunday the 12th, it's 1023 AM. You have a second time zone that's displayed at the bottom there. Aaron has this set up for um, for New York time down there at the bottom, okay? Um, it shows the, um, right there, the battery um, charge, okay? I believe on a full month charge, if it's fully charged, it'll go 10 or five month, five month power reserve, okay? Um, dual time zones, chronograph, it's got split second time, chronograph, alarm. I think it's a, a three channel daily alarm, okay? It's got a power save function, uh, timer, world time, um, screw down crown, or not screw down crown, screw down case back, and it has a rotating bezel but it is hard to use. <laughs> so let me see if I can even get it to turn here. I don't know if it's locked down. Okay, there we go. It moved a little bit there. So yeah, it moves, um, difficult. And what you can do is if you look, if you are diving with this watch, um, we can, I can actually grip it better if I move it like that at the edge. Um, so if you, if you line it up right here, this would be 24 minutes and you can line it up to there. So from here, you can count off, okay? So if you're diving, elapsed time, diving and you want your elapsed time, it's right there, okay? So that's very easy to use. There you go, it moves a little bit better. So I guess it's just kind of tough at first, but you can get it going. There we go, let's see if we can align it up. Wow, it is, it is, uh, there we go. It is a little difficult to use, so you'd have to get used to that, okay? Here's the mode. So there's the chronograph, lap, right there will start it. Let's see. Yeah, right there will start it. Okay. And I think that clears it. There you go. Um, recall, so you got two channels for the recall. I, or is it one channel? Let's go back. I think it's only one. So you can, I thought it was two though. So you can, um, you know, save your chronograph times, of course. And then there's a timer. You could set this, whatever you want to do there. Your alarm and your solar level, okay? So I guess this will explain, this will tell you, you know, how well it's charged and all that. 
So there's a lot of functions and it's hard for me to get into all the functions, of course. This will take up, you know, a lot of time to do, um, but uh, it is 200 meters. Uh, it's got the Caliber S802, okay? Um, like I said, world time. Did I show you the world time? Uh, timer, alarm, solar. There's gotta be another way to do the world time and I'm not sure. Like I said, I have not went through Okay, this got the level. Maybe. Oh, there we go. World time. So New York. Um, that's where he has it set, New York. So. Oh, okay, Chrono Two. Yeah, you <laughs> you'd really have to play around with this to um, figure out all the functions. There's so many. Very nice, supple strap. Very soft. Let me put it on the wrist real quick. All right. So this is on my seven and a half inch wrist and this thing is huge. It's a big watch. So there it is on my wrist. Wow, kind of dwarfs my wrist in a way. Not too bad lug to lug. It's just real big, 49 from side to side. So but this is a serious watch, serious dive watch. You can do it all. This is a good everyday watch, good gym watch. Uh, whatever you'd like to do with this. Um, did I get it to illuminate? Let me see. I'm not sure if I did. Uh, there's got to be a function for that. I'm not sure how to even do it, but I know you can illuminate it. Yeah, this is just something I, I really need to spend more time with. But um, very cool, though. Okay, guys, this is the Seiko Digituna SBEP001. Um, check it out. They're like 275 bucks on Seiko's website. You can probably find them for even better deals out there. But um, very nice watch. Great all-around watch. Does it all. Um, very cool. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.